guys, Clint Easley here with Revel Entertainment. I am at home today in the home office. I've got the family around and uh, we're just taking some time to do some preparation for an upcoming bear hunt that I'm going on. I've got a pretty busy hunting season schedule and I received this awesome product in the mail from Gunskin. So what I'm going to do is take this camel wrap and it's going to go around my Nikon Z6 camera body and see what extra materials I have available to maybe put on the 70 to 200 lens as well. But I'm going to take this in the field with me all season long so I can capture some beautiful images. Additional video footage and different things like that. So what I was wanting to do is show you guys just in time lapse of the process of what I go through to install the gun skins and then once I'm done let's have a little bit of a recap and I'll tell you about some of the challenges that I ran into, what I like about the product and then uh, the finished results. So the nice thing with gun skins is they have a lot of good tutorials on their YouTube channel so definitely check that out if you have any curiosities on what in the world this is specifically and to learn more about them but in the meantime let's get started and I'll talk more with you here in a bit. Alright you guys, so um, I kind of sped up the time lapse a little bit. I had to grab my phone for a phone call, but I am complete. So I just wanted to mention that with this gun skins, I had an eight inch by 15 inch sheet to start off of. And at the end of it, this is how much I have left. So I used quite a bit. I have just a little extra material that I'm gonna actually save in case I need it for some other occasions to put on some of the details of my camera, but I have it covered with everything that I personally want. I know I could cover a little bit more on the top, but the portion that I wanted to cover, I covered and we're good to go. I cleared out some spots for the buttons. I'm gonna show you just a second. Um, I use this handy little tiny tool. It's a small little Phillips. So for people that wear glasses and you need to fix that little Phillips uh, screw in there, that's what these size are for. But it actually came in kind of handy. I used it for um, part of getting the camera pieces assembled. So let me just throw the cap on here real quick. Little flathead screwdriver that I use just to press in some little spots as well. Uh, you want to make sure you have a sharp X-Acto knife of some sort. An arts and crafts store X-Acto knife would work better than this one, but this is all I had available. So that's what I used and it made do. But what I did find out um, kind of as you're working with this stuff, you need to be very cautious that you're working with little tiny spots. This is not a gun. This is not a gun scope. Camera's got a lot of little spots. So as you can see here, there's just little details. So an X-Acto knife from Arts and Craft Store would pay off a lot better if you're doing something like your camera or other small items that you want to wrap with your gun skin. Um, I had a little cute hair dryer that my wife had in the cabinet. That works good. And what you do is you're gonna heat up the gun skin and it allows it to become a lot more flexible with stretching it around, moving it, getting the air pockets out. So that worked really, really good. Um, I just wish I had forearms because I could have had two holding this while I pivoted the camera around and really stretched it. So you'll make fun of me probably in the time lapse a little bit on how I worked around that. Um, the other thing is good pair of scissors. You always wanna be able to cut little strips of the sheets. I would eyeball it for the most part. Again, I'm using camouflage, so there's a lot more flexibility when you have a black camera body with camouflage. I don't have to worry about the flaws near as much. And this is gonna be used in the outdoors. It's gonna get banged up and beaten. I'm not putting a gun up on a shelf for like some fancy display. So depending on how fancy you wanna get with your details, um, just keep that in mind on how you're cutting, measuring, and using your material. So I'm gonna get this stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna set the camera over here real quick and just give you a nice little walkthrough of the camera itself so you can see some close. This is a Nikon Z6 with a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. I use this lens a lot for archery season, um, for some wildlife photography, and anything that's at a medium distance from me. It's not your 105 to 600 where you're really gonna reach out and touch those animals when you're trying to film them and capture those shots, but this is a great all around outdoor lens if you're looking to pick one up. Um, so we got the gun skins on there. In some of the details, you'll see there's these little spots here 
that I messed up on. It's, that's easy to work out. You can heat that up with the hair dryer and restretch some of that. But like I said, this is a working camera and I'm planning for it to get really banged up and scuffed up over time anyways. Um, I wrapped all of the, of the areas that have kind of this shine to them. So that way it just dilutes a little bit of that. The only reason I did not do my adapter is because I'm constantly changing this in and out and I'm adding other lenses and I want some of my lenses to stay all black just for um, personal purposes when I'm shooting other families and things not outdoor related. I don't want to scare everybody with the fact that I got camouflage all over my stuff. So for there's a time and a place, but this lens in particular, I use a ton in the outdoors. And um, here is the front face. Let's see if we can get in there, give you a little more detail. Let me tilt this thing up here. So then you can see the front face a little bit and I could push right through the buttons there, cut a little spot out and turned out pretty solid. Everything works great. One thing you wanna be cautious of if you're putting it on a lens is to make sure that you cut these lines nice and smoothly, or nice and straight, I should say, for the creases, so that way you don't get any sort of holdup with your gears for your focus and your zoom. So keep that in mind, because I did, I think it was this focus point, I had just a little overlap, so I had to cut it back, and now it's nice and smooth again. Uh, but in a nutshell, I think I'm very happy with the product. I would definitely recommend them, if, especially if you're trying to decorate some of your guns or your scopes and you just want to, A, protect it with an extra layer so when it gets banged up in the outdoors, it adds that nice layer there. Or if you just want to have something that looks pretty high class and cool and different. So check them out. Go to gunskins.com and uh, thank you guys for checking this video out. Okay, take care. Bye.